Hey there, Sharon Hornelson here. Welcome to day 75 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Today we are talking about a transformational question that I discovered about 14 years ago following my sudden cardiac arrest. I was searching and looking for meaning and why the heck did this happen to me? Because sometimes when bad things happen, we all feel a little bit sorry for ourselves or we take the proactive approach and say, okay, I'm gonna figure out what happened so that this never happens again. And that's what I tried to do. Although there was some wallowing involved as well. Now, I started with the question, who does this belong to or who does that belong to? Because these cute little critters, they're smash mellows. I always call them the wrong thing. Smush mellows, smash mellows, something. They're, they're cute little characters. And my sister brought them down for her grandchildren for Easter because she's going to be celebrating it here. And it was a great thing because who do these cute little critters belong to? They do not belong to me, but they make great fodder for my videos. So let's talk about this question. You know, our spiritual growth, and we're focusing on spirituality this month, and in guide two of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page, there's, of course, a write-up as well as Nadine's story applying this particular strategy to her life. And that helps me, I don't know about you, but it helps me to hear other people's stories because I see how they apply different tools and techniques and strategies and use them for their own spiritual growth and development. Well, spiritual growth and development is a very personal journey that each and every one of us go on. We do introspection, we think, we journal, we be mindful, we be in the present moment. And one of the best, quickest, easiest ways to do that is by asking ourselves questions. When I first heard about this, I, I didn't think it was really that big of a deal. But then I started to use it and apply it in my life. And I realized that a whole lot of my thoughts, my feelings, my beliefs, uh, things that I had thought the world was or how it should be, they, they weren't really me choosing that belief. They were a belief that I had adopted either through a smart, a strong emotional event or experience or that I had picked up from people around me, my parents, my sisters, my friends, uh, other members of my family. And <clears throat> I realized that as an adult, I get to actually choose what I want to believe and what I want to think and how I want to think about different things and how I thought about things when I adopted those beliefs and made them part of my being on a subconscious level was I didn't realize, I didn't know that I could choose and I could let go of beliefs that didn't serve me. And so uh, I think all of us, if we ask ourselves that, especially when we feel a negative thing, anybody here ever participate in negative self-talk or have negative thoughts about other things and other people and other situations? Of course we do. It's natural. Probably, you know, 50% of our thoughts a day are, are negative. Well, if I ask myself, who does that belong to? And I realize that I just picked that up from my dad. My dad's been gone for 10 years, so it had to be over 10 years ago, but probably more like 40 years ago. Does that apply to my life now? And if it doesn't, then I want to let it go. If it does, and I choose to believe that, I want to keep that. Because guess what? A lot of our beliefs, a lot of the, the good things about us and our strong characters, uh, Ristics, come from people reinforcing those in us as well when we were young. So we want to keep the good ones, the ones that make us feel good, and we want to let go of the ones that don't feel right for us anymore or make us feel bad, right? Anything that makes us feel bad is not for us. That was something else I learned on my journey after my sudden cardiac arrest, that if it makes you feel bad, it's not the right situation, the right relationship, the right person, the right belief, the right thought the right environment, the right job for me. And it might be perfect for other people, but it's not right for me. And my purpose, which we talked about the other day, is to do what's right for me and be a continually improving version of myself. So what's our action item today? Today, as we go about our day and we notice our thoughts, our beliefs, our feelings about things, our emotions, we're going to ask ourselves, who does that belong to? Now, I'll give you an example as long as I'm thinking about it. I haven't done this yet. I'm going to do this today too. I'm going to, as I go about my day and am uh, doing different activities, I'll, I'll notice when I'm having a thought that's not necessarily great or positive or doesn't feel very good for me. And I'll say, like, who does that belong to? If I'm being super judgmental, for example, or if I'm criticizing or being negative or heaven forbid, should I be watching the news or the media? Because I'm not going to do that. It never makes me feel good. Uh, I'm going to ask myself, who does that belong to? And, and why am I experiencing that in this way? And if it doesn't feel right, or if I realize, oh my God, my grandma used to do that or say that all the time. I'm going to ask myself, 
well, is that true for me? And is it true for me right now? And do I want it to be true for me in the future? And if the answer is no to any of those things, then I'm going to consciously choose a different thought, a different belief, a different feeling that fits more for me. All right. If you have any questions about this, hit me up. Like I said, when I first started using it, I didn't think it was a big deal. But when I actually applied the tool and use it, and I don't use it every day now, but I did for a while, I, I just pay attention to it. And the more mindful we are, the better that helps us on our spiritual journey. All right. Have an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.